What is the best way to network as a painter? Exhibitions, uh -huh. exhibitions, exhibitions. Uh, yeah, yeah. With the blue then red or just on I, this one? I usually put a background color just like purple brown pink it, ah. um, it helps when you're finishing the picture ah. there are no spaces ah, I get that yeah. so you paint on color yes I get and then that. also it makes the picture stronger because you have to put if you're putting another color on top mm -hmm. to cover this one you have to put quite thick ah. If you're white, working from a white canvas, your color is very weak. Ah, yeah. I get what you're saying. Does this uh, differ from any, uh, is it any different from how you wanted to like uh, start painting digitally? No, it's the same. The same? Yeah, I've seen guys also doing the same. Painting the same, yeah. the same They principles. put a background color and then they start coming out, yeah. I've seen that. Nice. piece mm -hmm. do you have uh, a client in mind for so this one is commissioned yeah so ah. this one is already got but most of the time no so there's people who commission a painting that's not here yet yeah yeah guy they've seen a previous one and say ah. something like that but do this and that add this and that ah so a, a, a client can like low-key creative director painting yes if, yeah I super man. Super machine, Wabi. So, so, so you can uh, do with me. Does that come in the way of your like creative? Uh, say, if, if someone commissions a painting with how they want it to be, does that mm -hmm. come in the way? Would you? So would usually, you... I ask them if they've seen my work, yeah? ah. so that we work on that line. Ah, it, it doesn't have to be very different, because then at least it's ah, I get. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. So I don't suffer. I don't suffer by them telling me do this, do that. Also, but by no way is you are, it's like democratic with the client almost. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, then you mentioned uh, graphic design, how you were into graphic design before painting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could you just expound that for us as you? Yeah, graphic design is dealing with the client with the instructions. So, it's, uh, graphic design told me how to handle the client, how to show them instructions and things like that. Um, making them think they've told you what you want, you make them think that's what they've told you. You twist their words, play with their words. I get what you're saying. So then, uh, how does that now apply to, do, do you borrow some of that for the painting? Yeah, when I'm, I'm doing the client, showing sketches, uh -huh. I use the same words also. Ah, uh, because some, some, some of this sometimes starts from sketches and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. So for this series of Mount Kenya, uh -huh. they've seen it before. Uh, I get so the guy is interested in uh, something similar. So the mountain is going to be here, like that. I see what you're doing. You see? Yeah. So when I bring in the sky, I just put the sky that side. But most of this color is going to remain somewhere here. <laughs> I understand that. The purple of the distant mountain. Man. You see? What are these uh, paints you're using? Acrylic. Acrylic uh -huh. paint. And I'm also mixing some vinyl paint. Ah. The vinyl paint is the one that gives it the texture. You ever seen this series called White Collar? White Collar? Yeah. Uh, well, no, I don't think so. The thing that was impressive to me there was like, say, there was someone who was a very good painter that he could draw fakes. Oh. Yes. had the ability to tell if this painting was drawn by 10 different artists oh, and 
he knows them from their paint strokes. <laughs> I don't know. He just he yeah. like gave us like a, a vision of uh, the superpower you people have. In a way, I don't know if they they they, they exactly, the but we know. No, I, I know you know some painters that are like that, or yeah. even you like that. There are people you can know from the strokes who painted. Who painted? Yeah. 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 Mambo. Festival for Nigoko. So you match end your festival. Uh, what is the best way to network as a painter? Exhibitions. Uh -huh. Exhibitions, exhibitions. Uh, yeah, yeah. Exhibitions always. Even if you don't you're not taking part, just go. You never know who you might meet there. Oh, so you paint this instead this. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna wait for you to dry. Uh -huh. Because uh, here I leave some of the purple, but also I need uh, a greenish here and then the ground. So this is going to be the end of the the hill. Uh, <laughs> and then, so I put the human being somewhere here. Uh, and then some trees also will be here. The mountain is the most important part of the painting. Mount Kenya. How do you how do you manage as a digital artist? How do you manage to work without undo? Without that? Undo. What do you mean? It's just paint over it. Ah. <laughs> For painting it's easy. You just paint over. It's better than pencil. You just undo with the same color. <laughs> I get what you're saying. It's easy. I get what you're saying. When I teach kids this method, yeah. Yeah, they usually go like, oh, so I can just paint over. Yeah, we can paint over your mistakes. <laughs> yeah. It's easier. This one goes down. And then there has to be another layer. Mount Kenya, Kabisa. So I have to go up again. So this this angle I'm painting the mountain from, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm used to it. Here. Ah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> so I want to do is just work around it. I get what you're saying. So I was telling you my paintings are half done. So this one, you see the background color? Yes. Yeah. This one, just red, orange, and a bit of blue. Ah, I get it. So what I did, I just painted negative space, the sky, and then I left it to appear again. Ah. Okay. The person, I painted here, I painted here, but this is this background color. <laughs> the shadow is a background color. You understand? I get what you're saying. It's there. Yeah. It's inside here. Where the shadow is, I have not painted again. <laughs> I've only painted the lights now. Okay. I know what you're saying. It's the, the same way the camera takes the color and the shadow, mm -hmm. that's how I'm painting now. Ah. It's half a painting. Bro, I know what you're Guy, I know what you're saying. But before, I used to paint everything. I would paint those houses, different colors, you know, everything. But now, I just walk around where I think it's necessary. What uh, does that come with experience? What is that? Yeah, laziness and experience. Uh, they say the best ones are the laziest, bro. Yeah, it's just, it's just. Uh, <laughs> this one I did a live. It was live also in a mall. Whoa. And it took me three hours. I thought it was going to be the whole day. When it came here, I was stalking and just doing strokes. I went, came back, and I finished. You can see most of the background. Bro, and it I didn't cover. I didn't cover. You understand? You are getting it. 
this is the background. You can see me the blue a bit. I've not painted there. I've not painted all this. I've not painted this hand. But then it, I've just it, done the it comes space. out as a style, bro. Yeah. It, it comes, comes out, out like, like, uh, like you, I don't know. Because I know you, you mentioned it like you don't plan it, but it's like a plan. I don't know. The, the, the first time I did something like this, uh -huh. there was an exhibition coming and I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy coming to take uh, the work, he comes one day before. He says, well, are you ready for the exhibition? I say, I think so. He left like this, I did the background, <laughs> did the sketch, <laughs> I started a bit, I went home. The next day I was supposed to come early and do the painting. I got late, of course. My tattoo came late. Mm -hmm. I was coming by train that day. <laughs> and then I started doing the like first. Ah. I went for tea, came back, he was there. And he looked and said, fantastic. Can I carry? I told him, okay, you can carry. Holy snap. At three in the afternoon, he calls me and says, um, the show is starting tomorrow, but we've sold the pieces today. Can I get two more tomorrow? And then I just did that. No way. So the person who bought the other ones, the husband is a fine artist. Uh -huh. Very fine. But she liked the looseness. Yeah. Bought it for him to go uh -huh. see. Because it's always the mommy that brings you new style sometimes yes. when she's into invested, I think. And she was saying that he's been painting like that for years. So this one is finished now. Uh, this one I did last night. Uh, I want to do one more today. So I'll do this and one more like this today. This is amazing. You have no idea. So this one now, let's, let's let it set for some time, okay? Yeah. yeah. After watching this process and you explaining this, it'd be like the best thing to ask you right now is maybe to demystify the myth that art doesn't is not a bright profession to get into or something well, like that. Says who? Says who? You feel me? <laughs> the non-artist, the non-artist critic. No, I usually tell uh, my students. Um, I tell them parents are wired in a certain way, so. You just need to sit down and negotiate with them. Uh -huh, it's a negotiation. Yeah, I like how you say that. Yes. It's a negotiation. And that's what I did. I talked to my mom, I talked to my dad, and then they decided, okay, they gave me 2,000 more. <laughs> Don't come back again. <laughs> and that's how I started. <clears throat> so you need to, I tell my students, you talk to your parents properly. Explain to them what you want to do. I usually even tell couples, eh? whether it's a musician or uh, artist, you don't need to like their work. Ah. You don't need, you just need to know their direction, where they're heading towards, and support that. Don't say, are you seeing reggae? I don't like, no. You sing reggae, sour. To which direction do you want to go? That's how you're supporting the artist. You that don't need to powerful. like their work. You don't need to. That is powerful. And what best, uh, beside now the parents in that situation. Ah, uh, ah, uh, nice. Now come to say, what's the best way for us, art fans, to support artists? Buy their work, my dear. Uh -huh. Buy. Buy. No criticism, we should no, stop that. No, you should criticize. An artist who can't take criticism on an artist. You need to take it. You need to take everything. If a small kid comes and tells me something like I don't like, I just listen. Uh, From there, I can learn something also. Oh, so if you take it like that, then it yeah. opens up more doors for work yeah, for you. I mean, some people tell me don't draw women in jeans. Why? And the person is putting on jeans at the same time. Why do you draw big butts? I ask him, why do you, when you go buy a dress, the first thing you do is like this? Uh, you're looking how it's showing the butt. Judo, judo. And it's so subconscious, we don't even... I know what you're don't saying. Don't even think it. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Painting on a smaller canvas limits you as compared to a bigger one? It's more intense. You feel oh. more intense. <laughs> when I started doing small ones, I you feel more tired. I get what you say. I've never... Because it's, it's like controlling you. I've never thought that. But when I started doing small ones, uh -huh. I understood why they made them, you know, like those mini screens, ah. tabs. It, it feels very personal. Yeah. 
when some people hang it in them, you know, like low level, yeah, 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 it's a personal piece. Because yeah, yeah. I'm even thinking when I start collecting, I'll start with the small ones for the kitchen pieces or something. Yeah, yeah, things like yeah, that. Just as you learn. Ah, and also uh, a lot of people, it's like cool now to invest into art, as in buy art as a collector. It's like a cool thing, but people don't know how to start. Maybe if you can just break it down. I think you just start with what you like. Uh, um, don't go too complex in the beginning. First, you do what you like, and then later on, you can start learning different things. They start growing on you. What you like? It's just like buying a shirt. Just like a shirt. Nice. And uh, you mentioned something about uh, an artist has to maintain his perception in society for his work to also maintain like his stock value. Yeah. 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 Could you just break that, that down for, for just, us in a way? You uh, just maintain like um, consistency, maintaining of your style, being regular to see your work, being relevant in the society, relevant. 